Hi there, in this video what I'm going to do is show you um, the batch um, version of, of a tool in the toolbox. Uh, this is, it's, it's a um, straightforward thing to use and uh, so this video is much more geared towards the uh, new users to ArcGIS Pro. I'm sure the uh, veteran users amongst you um, amongst yourselves will um, be familiar with it um, but um, but if not then it, you know and if it is maybe it's a bit of a refresher for you but um, but this is really a straightforward video uh, about using batch and in this example I'm going to use clip so um, to get straight straight down to it as you can see here in my map that I've got here so the contents I've got some OSM streets that's the red lines so um, if I just click on it so I, I just downloaded these from um, Planet um, OSM. Let's just uh, click on one. There we go. So um, that, that's the vector data from OSM. And also I have some waterways. Let's just turn off the streets. Uh, you can see these waterways, these waterways here. So these are various um, bits of data attached up. Ridley Brook is there. And finally, I have some triple SIs. So these are the sites of um, special sort of scientific interest and stuff. So it's Budden Wood and Swithin Reservoir, as it says. So this is all the data again. I've got it's all open data. Let's turn them all back on. Now my the, the, the job I'd like to do, the goal I'd like to reach is I would like to have clipped all the um, waterways and road network from OSM uh, clipped by the triple SI polygons. So I only want to have those feet, those the, these line segments, these line uh, slide geometry that exists or intersects inside um, is, is clipped by um, these polygons so you can see some some sort of OSM data the red lines crossing here because there's lots over here in Bradgate Park I know there's lots of paths and rows around that area and also there's some water network here as well you see down in down, down in Bradgate Park as well so I want it all clipped um, by those polygons so um, it's quite straightforward to do the clip go to tools analysis tools uh, as you can see, I've already searched for clip before. Let's, let's click, uh, click on clip. Uh, extract in, input features that overlay the clip features. Press clip. So what, what do I want to clip? I want to clip my streets. And how do I want to clip them by? Triple SIs. So this is um, some OSM streets underscore clip is what it's going to call it. And it's going to put it in this sort of default um, database for the project. But you can rename this to anything. So now I shall run it. So let's just get rid of the tool for a second. What has happened? Well, let's just turn off some streets and turn off any other road networks and sure enough you can see we have those uh, the red line geometry those features those OSM street data uh, clipped by the um, triple SI polygons so that's great but that's with one feature set what if I've got 30 and you want to clip them all so let's just remove this one for a second because I've also got these waterways and I really want to do them all in sort of one go um, so using clip is easy enough with one feature that's inputting, um, you know, one input feature set. But what if, what if you want to do everything? So in order to, to do everything in one go, lots of multiple layers, you use uh, clip batch. It's still the same tool. So I still go to, um, I can still search for clip and, and there it is. But if you right hand mouse click on the tool, you'll see batch. Okay, so that's how, you, how we're going to do multiple layers at the same time. So we click on batch. And what, what this is asking you to do here 
is effectively to set up the tool. How do you want to do this? Well, you could just make a temporary tool. So this is kind of just for the session. You just want to run it and, and that's it. Um, but you might want to actually save this, what, you, what you're doing, to an actual tool in your in your toolbox. So this will um, be in uh, within this toolbox TBX file um, clip demo. This, um, which is by default the name given to the, it's the same project. You can see the clip demo um, project file there. So we can call it batch clip or anything, but actually it's sort of multi multiple batch clip. Okay, so I might as well call it that. And uh, what we're batching up is the input features. So we're saying we want multiple inputs to be chopped up by the triple SI polygons. That's what we're saying, be clipped. But we could do it the other way around and we could say, actually, we want just one layer, perhaps streets, but we could have multiple polygons around to chop up the data. So there could be multiple polygons um, as inputs in, in order to, uh, as clip features. So it depends which way you want to go, um, which way around you're talking about. In this case, I'm saying input features to be chopped up are the, are the batch parameter. So I click next, it says, okay, well, what, what do you want to um, so, uh, chop up, uh, clip? You can select manually like we did before, but if you see this little down arrow here, click on that and you can just select all the layers that you want. Uh, I want to do streets and waterways in one go and chop them up. So let's click add. Don't forget to click uh, check the add box and you'll see them added, but you can see you can add lots more in there. How is it to be clipped? It's still triple SI. It's still some of those triple SIs and I call it some triple SI because it's just a sort of manual selection I do. Uh, we can name the output classes to whatever whatever we want. That percentage uh, name percentage is like a variable that ArcGIS Pro uses and that just means uh, with name, percentage, name, percentage, that's the name of the layer. Um, that's what that's going to call, but we could we could sort of do anything in there. Uh, yes, as with any tool, lots of environment stuff we could we could set up, uh, export, um, uh, what, what the output coordinates going to be, all that kind of thing. But we'll just leave it as that and run. Doesn't take too long to run. Um, and if we just have a look at them, actually, let's just get rid of that window for a second. Let's see what happened. So I'll just turn off that stuff. And sure enough, what we've now got in the layer is clipped waterways, clipped streets by these polygons. So I've done two sets, um, you know, two sets of clipping uh, with one um, sort of tool. Um, so that's all all the uh, waterways that are clipped, which is correct. If we turn on the waterways, you can see how that overlays, you see. And we also clipped the um, OSM line geometry as well. And you can see there's a lot of crisscrossing uh, over that park. Um, so that's that's batch clipping. And I'll, what I'll do is just finally, just as an endpoint, just to show you something here. If I click on tools again, you can see how it says multiple batch clip. I've done this demo, you know, I've done this before. So I've got a few test ones there. But you see how that multiple batch clip that I called it. So that's there and that's there to run again. But what you could do is right hand click and click edit. And when you click edit, you'll see it's here is the model. Uh, a great place to start um, what you can you, you know use that for to to create your own um, further analysis models. But but more more on that and, and therefore tools in the toolbox. But more on that in, in another video. But you can see how it's generated all this for you. Um, very handy. So this is a multiple input um, tool going on here and you can see it's um, iterating there. So there's some good sort of learnings there to be had. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. Um, it's a relatively straightforward thing um, to do, uh, but very powerful. So just remember you go to your clip tool um, and once you've found it, right hand mouse click and click batch. And that works on all tools. So if I was to um, go to uh, split, uh, let's say select maybe, double click that, sorry, select and batch, right hand mouse click, batch, and we can do the same sort of thing on the select. So most, if not all the tools have some kind of batch capability. I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much.